Hello, uh, we are explaining today a current number for hydraulic simulations in HECRAS 2D as part of the HECRAS course that I've been explaining throughout this uh, channel. And today we'll focus in this, in this part here. Uh, when we go to a, our anesthesi flow analysis, there is this option where we can choose our computational interval. That is the, the time step that HECRAS chooses to do the calculations. And if we go to these three dots here, another window opens up, and uh, we can see three different options. Fixed time step, adjust time step based on current, and adjust time step based on time series of divisors. Uh, the first uh, thing that HECRAS had was only the first one, the two others at add-ons of later versions. Uh, so before to have um, uh, stable computations, we had to try different computational uh, intervals. Uh, so this was like, let's say, difficult options. But now there is this new option of adjust time step based on current. And I recommend you when you are using the shallow water equations, this maximum current, minimum current, and these other parameters to start. When you run more and more simulations, you will get an idea how to change them to improve. But these are very good numbers to start. And if you want to know more about them, you will find more in the HECRAS website about current number. And this last option, adjust time step based on series of divisors, um, with this option, it's possible that the, the time step changes depending on where you are in your hydrograph. So, if we have like a, a float and it's coming up and down, maybe we want time steps that are shorter in the in the peak where we have uh, higher velocities. Um, yes. Um, so let let's see what is this current thing. This is the window that I just showed, and this is the adjust time based on current window. And okay, this current is this C over here, that it's equal to the velocity that the water has multiplied by the time step that we are looking for, divided by the cell size, okay? So if we want the current equal to one, it means that we want one uh, drop of water to move one cell in one time step, okay? So one time step, this uh, water moves only one cell. And if this is one, we can uh, mm, just take the uh, time step here as uh, the cell size divided by the velocity. For example, if we have a cell size of 10 meters and we have like a normal channel, not very steep, where we can suppose that the water is around one meter per second, that means that we need a time step of, of 10 seconds. And if we have a cell size of 5 meters and we guess that the water is com going uh, around 1 meter per second, then we need a time step of 5 seconds. Why is it this important? Because we, we need to give a number to Hegras to start. So this one second that I have here, or this one second that I have here, even though I have my second option checked, Hegras will take this value to start the iterations. So it's, it's nice to have a rough idea. I usually have like, yeah, a half. Uh, one meter cell, I will uh, have one second time step, but then uh, HECRAS iterates. So it's just so that you don't have something very crazy like a, a cell size of one meter and a time step to a start of uh, 30 minutes. Then, yeah, <laughs> you are not on track. And something else that I want to show you is that we can, in our map, well, I'll I can remove it just to show it, show you, but if we right click in the plan, we can manage results map layer. And these are part of the results that I can add to my RAS mapper uh, window. And if we go to hydraulics, we can choose the current velocity and that map. So I can see the current value of each cell any time. So I can see here, see here the legend going between 0 and 2. So here I can see the higher values are uh, gotten in the downstream boundary. Also in the, in the bridge I have some high values. Yeah, 
but not really really high so this is like too hmm maybe maybe if i wanted to try i uh, to get lower values i will just make maybe this was even running diffusion wave that's why i have so so high values here but this is also for you to know that you have this option to see what is the current that is calculated in each cell and it's a resource to see if computations are stable and yeah, uh, just play with it and I, I really hope this is useful and if uh, you have any questions just write it down and yeah, thank you for watching, <laughs> bye bye.